Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And in a very brief lesson, I want to speak about being thankful. All right. For the gift that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has bestowed upon us, especially in these latter times, understanding, you know, what's coming down the pipeline, understanding what to prepare for, prepare, preparing our minds through the spirit, you know, because, you know, I've been bringing this up for the past couple months. Ultimately, you could just be in the world and you could just be through not not really knowing what's going on, not having a clue about what's going on in the world just being out there you know hey you today is so-called easter you could be out there celebrating easter man you know dying easter eggs with your family eating ham you know just completely going off now is easter in the bible yes it is in the bible but when you go into the hebrew word of easter it goes into the word pasach which means passover which we happen to just keep which is a very, very solemn assembly. So Easter is in the Bible, but that doesn't mean you go eat ham, eating abominable foods and die. You know, that don't mean you, you die Easter eggs and you have an Easter egg hunt with your kids. You know, and you get you up in a three piece suit with the with, with the uh, with the tie on. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of Israelites in the world doing that today, man. So being thankful for the gift. You know. And, and understanding that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai called us and Lord willing, we're chosen at the end of the day, man, because that's what it's really about. Being chosen in these latter times and uh, uh, sticking up for the uh, gospel, man. A lot of you Israelite camps, you ain't sticking up for the gospel. GMS are the main ones that come to the defense of the gospel every single time. Which I believe through the spirit that we are the house of David. All right. And there's other men that teach the same doctrine as Great Millstone. Great Millstone is just a title, man. It's really all about the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Are you coming in the right doctrine? All right. Now, back to what I was saying about being thankful for the gift that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai stowed upon us, man. This is uh, Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. All right. Because ultimately, that's what we save by faith. Faith without works is dead. That's why you see brothers out there on the highways and the byways putting in the work. They're showing you the faith through their works. All right. Now, you might read the scripture and say, see, we don't have to keep the laws. We save through faith and grace. Well, you're not supposed to abuse the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, grace is there for when you when you really need it. It's not there to be abused. I'm going to eat this, this swine, so I'm under grace. I'm going to commit adultery. I'm under grace. I'm not going to keep the Sabbath. I'm under grace. All these things are supposed to be on your mind, man. We're supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. But understanding we can't keep them uh, perfect in the flesh. Now, in the spirit, we're perfect. But in the flesh, we go off. We're carnal. Because right now the Lord programmed us to uh, be that way. Okay? Because ultimately what? We need Yahweh Shai. But we're thankful for this beautiful gift that he gave us, man. This knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. That's going to keep us stable in the latter times. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be what? The stability of thy times. When all these people are out here bugging out, you know what's going to be keeping us sane? The true word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. We gotta have, hey man, that faith of a mustard seed the scriptures speak about. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. That faith is a gift, as I stated, as the scriptures state. Not of works, least should any man boast. All right? Because ultimately, what? The Lord gave us the strength to go out there and do the work. You know, now some brothers do have infirmities and sicknesses and they still get out there, man. And that and that's beautiful. 
You know, I did a video a few weeks ago about how I tore my Achilles tendon. So I can't be physically out there right now. I'm going to be down for a while, you know, but that's not going to stop me from doing the works of the Lord. I'm not going to sit up and, and, and not do videos. Now that I know that I can't physically stand out there on the highways and the byways, I'm going to go extra hard, you know, Lord willing, get some extra reading in there because that's a gift to be able to read, do extra videos, you know, that's, that's how you, you know, uh, 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 come into this work and, 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 and you be faithful to the Lord, man. Because ultimately what the Lord looks at us as his, uh, his woman, we're his bride. Okay. And we're also set up to be watchmen into the house of Israel, man. So you should really be thankful for the faith. Scriptures say faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. You could literally just be out there in the world, man. Just just done sagging your pants. You could be in a damn frat club practicing Greek mythology. You could you could be doing a whole bunch of crazy shit, man. But the Lord got us doing what? The this this work, man. Faith. Be thankful that the Lord gave you faith, man, that he's going to deliver you in these latter times. Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So if you ain't got faith, you can't even please the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So he's a rewarder, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Don't the scriptures say these are they which follow the land whithersoever he goeth? So if you diligently seeking Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, there's a reward at the end, brothers. There's a reward at the end, man. And what's that reward? The crown of righteousness that the Apostle Paul was speaking about. And also you can read about that in uh, 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 second, uh, second Ezra's. I believe it's the second chapter. When Yahweh Shai was physically uh, crowning his men. That's the reward, the kingdom of heaven. So, I mean, come on, man. Let's be real. Let's be real right now. Uh, sh should not we be thankful for this word, for this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, this truth? Really think about it, man. Think about you and then think about a, 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 a Israelite that's out there in the world just chilling. Easter Sunday. Going off, calling on uh, Jesus, Cesare Bogier, man. Think about that. There's a difference between us and them. We're doing the works of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai because the Lord called us into this precious knowledge, man. This beautiful oil that the Lord gave us. And, we're, and we should be thankful for it, man. We should be praising the Lord all the time for it. Because ultimately, we have a protection. We have a hedge around us, man. You know, we got angels watching us. Now, we're not perfect. We understand that. We're not perfect in the flesh, man. But we could we, we, we please the Lord 100% in the spirit. The Lord programmed us to go off. He programmed us to, uh, to, to, to sin, really, man. And he didn't give us license to sin. But the Lord knows that at some point we're going to we're going to continue to go off. The scriptures say uh, all uh, all fall short. And when I say continue to go off, I don't mean uh, be swallowed up in iniquities. You just out there just going off. Don't 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 get it uh, messed up. I ain't saying that. Because that's not what we're doing. All right. But sometimes you may go off and you feel sorry about it. Like the one brother. That uh, ate leaven um, um, during the Passover unknowingly. You know? Like the apostles said, we're rehearsing the righteous acts right now. We're practicing, man. Well, hey, hey, what do they say? They In the world, they say practice makes perfect. But that's really not true. Perfect practice makes perfect, man. Perfect practice makes perfect. You know? If that makes sense. 
So yeah, man, being thankful for the knowledge, being thankful for the wisdom and understanding, being thankful that the Lord gave you the name, all these things we got to consider. And remember that without faith, it is impossible to please him, man. As it says in Hebrews, the 11 chapter, Hebrews 11 and one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. OK, so we talk about all these things, the kingdom of heaven and, and uh, gold and silver and substance and uh, uh, beautiful wives and beautiful children. A lot of Israelites can't fathom that. They can't see that because they've been programmed in this Western hemisphere to just think carnal. And think, you know, just America is the end all be all or the various captivities you were scattered is the end all be all. You can't really fathom a kingdom because you've been so programmed to, 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 to think like a slave. So so to have that faith to, to see the evidence of things not seen is a gift. Is a gift, man, to be able to believe it and not even physically see it, but see it through the spirit. You know? So I'm going to leave it there, man. Lord willing, this is, you know, just some encouraging words for you, brothers, man. You know, I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. This is the brother Zion signing off. I'll see you brothers in the next lesson. Shalom.